Imagine you're building something cool, like a bike or a gadget or an enclosure. But to build it right, you need to pick the best materials. First, think about what your creation needs to do like, is it going to be strong, or does it need to handle heat? These are the rules for your materials. Also, consider where it'll be used. Is it going to be wet or hot? That matters too. Now, picture your creation carrying heavy things or getting bumped around. You don't want it falling apart, right? To help us choose, we use cheat sheets with info on materials. It's like looking up a recipe for the best ingredients. We test materials, just like trying out shoes before you buy them. We want to be sure they work well. Sometimes things don't go as planned, so we use fancy tools to figure out why. And, we keep an eye on the budget, making sure it's not too expensive. We care about the planet, so we choose materials that are kind to the environment. Experts help us out when we're not sure what to pick. And we're ready for surprises, just in case. Finally, we give our ideas a test run, like cooking a new dish. And we write down everything we learn. So, that's how we pick the right stuff to build awesome things. It's like solving a puzzle, one piece at a time. Building upon our introduction, let's now dive deeper into the process of selecting materials for your engineering projects. Define design objectives. Clearly define the objectives and functional requirements of your design. Understand the purpose, performance expectations, and intended service life of the component or product. Identify critical properties. Determine the critical material properties that are essential for meeting the design objectives. This may include mechanical properties, for example, tensile strength, modulus of elasticity, thermal properties like thermal conductivity and specific heat, and other specific to your application. Consider environmental factors. Evaluate the environmental conditions the material will be exposed to, such as temperature extreme, humidity, corrosive environments, and radiation. These factors can significantly impact material selection. Account for loading conditions. Analyze the anticipated loading conditions. Impact forces, vibration, and fatigue. Ensure that the selected material can withstand these conditions. Material property charts and databases. Utilize material property charts, databases, and reference books like the ASM Materials Handbook or MatWeb to gather data on a wide range of materials. One of the popular alternatives used in India is the Indian Institute of Metals IIM, Handbook of Material Selection. In Europe, the European Steel and Alloy Grades Numbers Database EN Steel Number, provided by the European Steel and Alloy Database is used. These resources provide detailed information on material properties. Material Selection Indices Calculate Material Selection Indices Such as the Ashby Plot, to help visualize and compare materials based on multiple properties simultaneously. These tools can aid in narrowing down material choices. Material Testing and Characterization If necessary, conduct material testing and characterization to verify properties under specific conditions relevant to your design. This may include tensile testing, hardness testing, fatigue testing, and more. Failure analysis. Perform failure analysis studies, such as finite element analysis, (F). Computational fluid dynamics, CFD, to predict how materials will behave under various loads and operating conditions. Manufacturability and processing. Consider the manufacturability of the chosen material. Ensure compatibility with manufacturing processes, such as casting. Forging. machining, or additive manufacturing. Cost analysis. Evaluate the overall cost of materials, including procurement, processing, and any secondary treatments. Weigh this against the budget for your project. Sustainability and environmental impact. Assess the sustainability and environmental impact of the material. Consider recycling capabilities, energy consumption during production, and disposal considerations. Consult with experts. 
Collaborate with material scientists, experienced engineers, and experts in the field to gain valuable insights and recommendations for material selection. Risk assessment. Identify potential risks associated with material selection, such as supply chain vulnerabilities, material scarcity, or regulatory compliance issues. Develop contingency plans if necessary. Prototype and testing. Create prototypes and conduct physical testing to validate the selected material's performance. Make adjustments as needed based on the results. Documentation and reporting. Maintain detailed documentation of the entire material selection process. This documentation should include rationale for the chosen material and any supporting data. Continuous improvement. Embrace a culture of continuous improvement. Learn from previous projects and iterate on your material selection process to refine it over time. Material selection is a multifaceted process that requires a combination of engineering knowledge, data analysis, and critical thinking. By following these expert-level steps, you can make informed decisions that lead to optimal material choices for your mechanical designs. We hope this video proves helpful for gaining a fundamental understanding of the material selection process. Please feel free to leave your comments and feedback. Thank you.